Hi guys, my eyes are stained because I put some pink I should have on last night. I did wash off. I'm just chilling with Selena. Hello. Hope she doesn't bite me, but today. I'm having another chill day. Is that okay? I'm going to get my food shop and doing my nails. I took them off. Look how small my hands are. <gasps> do you see why I have big nails now? But I'm literally going to do my nails, have a food shop, have a bath. I'm scrubbing off my tan and putting another tan. So this is like food shopping vlog and glow up. Like... Why do I always burp? But yeah, if that sounds like a bit of you, keep on watching. But it's just going to be quite a chill one. I feel like I've got a few videos out that aren't. So I like to have like at least two chill vlogs a week, you know. I feel like last week was very much all vlogs. So this week there's been a bit more other things. Just because I'm scared my content is boring. But no one's said it is yet. And to be honest, if you do, then don't watch it simples but before we do anything we gotta edit so i'm gonna sit here and edit for a bit and then hopefully have more to show you of the day but do you prefer sit down videos vlogs more a bit of both change it up a bit Jewhurst. Run point to the end there for us, please, right? Yep. Can I contact you? Hey, Jay. Can I turn it don't drop it, Dad. <laughs> no, I'm trying to. What do you want? Sweet and sour sauce. Can I have some sweet and sour sauce, please? Put him. Sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. It's quite windy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Well, no, no, Dad, stop. There's food. Um, Is everything in the next window for us, please? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Driving off about the food, Dad. Oh, he is, he is. Yeah, Josie, yeah. yeah. They'll bring food out as well. <laughs> Do you only think I'd got a drink and a McFlurry? I don't know. What you got there? No, there's no bag of food. Oh, they've overfilled that McFlurry. Look at that. Yeah. What a treat. The way you eat chips. Um, chips or the burger and, and cheese bites. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, just put the seat in the way. Hmm. How funny, eh? Yeah. This is going to be the chillest UK mukbang. Why is our dog barking? What's wrong with that? But I've just ordered myself. Well, I went to go pick it up and I can't get it delivered where I live, so can't you yourself lucky. I got a McDonald's. So I thought we could just like, have a little chill part of the video. After this, I'm packing because I'm going away to a secluded lodge, not near anyone. It's contactless and everything like that. So, oh my God, I look so rough in like this because um, I need bright lights, but... I'm putting my tan on later and doing my nails and having like a massive glow up, so don't judge, okay? And with bright lights, I feel like it just makes you look so washed out, but this isn't a vibe either. And yeah, I just thought we could have a little chat. Um, I had a stressful morning this morning. Um, me and my dad went to go pick up the Tesco order like you saw, and I was just going to film like bits on the way home, more like a montage, and then... We got to a roundabout, I need to sip. Oh, by the way, I got a Coke. 
large chips. Cheeseburger and some of the cheese melt dippers. Again, I'm so sorry about my appearance, but so we're driving back and this van on a roundabout went up on the curb, which was really weird. And we were like, we don't know what's going on. And we saw this mini next to it that was just reversing back. And we had no idea what was happening. Like this mini was about to go into us. So my dad quickly moved the car, just to have a look what was going on. The van driver got out, so I thought there'd been a crash. Um, which I think the mini did crash into the guy's car, um, the van. And then we slowly went past the mini's car, the mini car, and the man in it um, wasn't with it. I think he um, I think he was having a fit of a seizure. And I was like really shocked. So me and my dad got off the roundabout quickly and then turned around to make sure it was okay. But by this point, there was like three people with him already. So we made sure it was okay. Um, but I'm so, that is so scary. Like he was literally just driving them. Something happened. But when we went round again, he was just led there. And we, don't, we have no idea how he is. So I had quite, oh. I always hiccup when I have a fizzy drink. Um, it was actually quite a horrible morning, like, I think afternoon, but I really hope the man's okay. Like, it was so worrying. Um, I just wasn't expecting, like, I looked in the car to see what was going on. Like, because my dad beeped him at first, like, um, you're going to crash into us. And then we saw what was going on and it was just scary and I just pray he's okay. Honestly, I didn't show my Tesco order because... We're taking it away with us, so I thought I could show you the meals we cook then. And that vlog will be coming soon. Um, so yeah, I hope we look forward to that. But I'm looking forward to smackies. I'm going to pack after. We're going away for four nights. So we're going to have like a date night and stuff. So hopefully I can get really good outfits and my swimsuit still hasn't arrived. I'm literally going tomorrow, so that doesn't stress me out at all. But hopefully it comes tomorrow. Um let's try a cheese bite. I did this in my last mukbang, but I love mukbang so much, like sit and eat food together and chat. Um here's what they look like. I mean that looks like something that my stomach won't agree with. But we'll take some tablets. Mm. It's nearly Christmas. I literally keep saying that I've got all my presents and I keep ordering more for people. Anyone else love giving gifts rather than receiving them? I mean, I love getting gifts, like, but I love giving people gifts so much more. Honestly, I'll just be like shopping. And I'll just see something someone I like and I'm like, well, I've got to get that now, haven't I? I can't help it. Of course, I got my cheeseburger with no meat on again. But let's not judge. Should we see how empty it is today? <gasps> I was like, where's the sauce? It's underneath with some gherkins. I was like, dry burger. Mmm. I always dip everything into a sweet and sour sauce. I'm like... Sorry if you don't like that. Mm. Honestly, I love that. I hope you've enjoyed my videos this week. Um, it's been more... Um, there was a vlog yesterday and there'll be a vlog going... Um, like a vlog probably tomorrow. But I know I've had two videos that weren't vlogs. So I hope that wasn't a problem. And I hope that you really enjoyed them. I'm sorry... I feel like sometimes people just don't like the sit down videos in vlogmas but I feel like I prefer both like as long as you've got a video up for me and you're chatting away like me like I never I never give you a short video well sometimes I feel guilty for the people that don't like long videos but we can just chat I was going to ask some q and A's on Instagram today but then I was like we'll just talk another time
I'm too hungry. I thought I'd give you a little story time. Because it's just really scary and I hope that hasn't happened to any of you guys. So I'd love to know what you've all asked for for Christmas. I'm so nosy. Why is my pinky up while I'm drinking a McDonald's coat? <laughs> but yeah, I'm I need it. I need a bath, okay? Like we don't judge here. We're realistic. Although my hair like has been quite nice today, but because my face looks like this, I feel like it's just like it makes my hair not look nice as well. But this tops from the ASOS men's section. Me telling you things. Also, have a celebrations McFlurry downstairs, which I'm going to eat as soon as I've had all this. I'm not going to wait. I'll go a little down. I probably will wait though. So good. The celebrations McFlurry is one of the best ones that they've brought out. Still waiting for a Kinder Bueno one though. You know what I mean? My friend shared on Facebook the other day that like a bounty one which I've seen when I went to Budapest a couple of years ago they had bounty ones there but that is not a bit of me and she shared it and I was like I don't get people that like eating like coconut flavoured things but she literally loves it why am I calling Emily out on the vlog literally though I love just sitting down and eating food I can't believe that I literally like what was it, that why did someone just fall I can't believe that I literally just like video myself like this and I'm like call it content. But here we are. I'm out of a bath. Um do me tan and have a proper relax. Then we can pack together. What are your New Year's Eve plans? I'm going to um like a UK staycation for a few days. I mean as long as nothing happens after Christmas, like with COVID, which I'm so excited about. I've been once before to the same hotel, like in summer, but um, I had a fro. I have a fro. I have a frozen shoulder. It doesn't just go away, but I just got it then, and I've never been in so much pain. Like I was, she was crying the whole time. So hopefully we don't have any pain um, and it's literally fine. It should it should be okay though, but I feel like dead bad when I just take vlog videos and I literally look like this, but I don't want to have to put makeup on every day and be fake because who does that? I don't. I love a good evening shower or bath as well. Like, what am I going to do? Not film all day. I mean, to be fair, I hardly film today. But it's all happening now. I knew I wanted to film like a compact with me in this vlog. Because um, I love watching videos like that. But I didn't want to make a whole video on it. I feel like it's cheating. So, I kind of had a chill day. I've not done much. I've sorted out um, and been editing stuff though. So, I've not done nothing. But you know what I mean. Also, would anyone be interested in like trying weird McDonald's orders or stuff like that? Or if you have any food videos you really like, because I love watching them, please let me know because I'll happily do anything you want me to do. To an extent, I'm not going to mow some of you. Why is my pinky up again? <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed a little mukbang, a little story time, but... I'm probably just going to eat the rest of my food quite quickly now. But if you have not tried the Celebration McFlurry, get it. Also, if any of you watch anyone that does mukbangs or food videos where they don't eat meat, can you let me know? Because if someone cooks me or is eating meat, I can't really watch it and I will have to skip it. Or I'm not going to lie, I won't watch the video at all. Because why would I want to watch that? <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, do you know? Please let me know. Or are any of you vegetarian and really like to watch mukbangs? I could make really cool vegetarian food and we could try it together. Or just let me know. 
because these are some of my favourite videos and they do better than my makeup video, so I mean. <laughs> Best McFlurry ever. Massive this um, bag is. I got it from Home Bargains and it stores all of Owen's presents in. So um, there's quite a few in there. Um, the ones that my mum's got in as well are also in there. They're not all from me, but I just feel prepared, you know? And then here are the, pe the presents for his parents and then all the rest um, will be nearly done. Where are the cushions for this room? I feel like they're in my room. I think I stole them. Okay, I've faked hands and I've washed my hair. I feel a bit more human now. I feel like my skin's like glowing as well. Like I use, um, well, actually, I mixed Aero Tan by Bondi Satins just to use it up. It's so hard to get off. So like R.I.P. and same roots. But can someone please give me something to take my tan off? Like it's too hard. Right. Here's my suitcase. Do you like it? I do. It was £40 in the sale at Trip. With I've took it to Amsterdam and just back and forth on train journeys, but it's not been anywhere else. And I got this little thing for £3 as well, so I know it's mine. Little pink thing. I wouldn't recommend getting a white suitcase. It's a bit battered from travelling, but I like it. My boyfriend has the black one. Mine's a bit diddier than his, but it's like a light version. Is what it looks like inside. Oh, I'm weak. Right, let's talk about clothes. So I think we're gonna do like a date night every night in the lodge or we might go out um, depending on if there's anything open in the area. So I've got this, I'll just whack everything off. I've got this like collusion dress, which is like black like this. And then you zip it all up. I've I've shown it in a haul like quite a while ago, like my first ever haul. I've only done two. <laughs> Not I don't really like to buy clothes. I feel like it's just a bit excessive. Like I feel like I've got enough clothes for now, and I don't really have the money to keep buying new ones. The uh, fishnet pockets and stuff, and it just zipped all the way down. Um, if you want to see any of these, I'm going to style them on my Instagram, which is Lorraine. A. Dewhurst. My middle name is Adele. This way. My boyfriend's going to get so annoyed. I, I like don't pack anything right. And he's like. Bleh. But here we are. Okay. I got some tights from ASOS. So I'm definitely taking them. It's cold. I hate my legs. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to take them. I always get them off ASOS now. I feel like they're just the best tights. Um, and I have next day. I feel like another two weeks i need to renew it pop them in okay so if we have like a pro we want to have one night a proper fancy date night in the lodge i feel like that's what you gotta do you gotta keep the love alive so i'm gonna wear this red blazer and tie it up um i've not worn this yet i bought it for a night out and it was on sale in a uh, lockdown i was like wow i need that it's shoulder padded and i'm gonna wear like a red bra underneath and like that's it so it's gonna be sexy it's gonna be tied up but it's gonna be sexy date night look next is another tie dress so it looks like this and then you tie it it's a bit booby though which is the only problem so i'll probably have to be careful going out in this because i, I really need the smaller size but I don't like wrap dresses to be tight. I like, no one wants to see my stomach. So I've got this. And it, like, ties at the front. So it's like that, like a wrap dress. I think it's really, really pretty and it's white. I feel like a winter queen. And hopefully that is warm because it's very knitted. Um, I mean, we live in the UK. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of that. My last outfit that's like a bit dressier, so I only want to take four dressy outfits because we have four nights there. Um, I probably 
take a few more things just in case like you know when you you've got to take like at least two extra outfits because you end up wearing things and you just don't like them it just be like that so this is inside out which is annoying this is a really long maxi dress but it actually suits me i'm like five two so normally they don't i need to sort this out basically it's like this it's long sleeve and it's orange and it goes all the way to the floor and i think it's really really pretty like i just want to roam around in this and it has like a tie so you can tie the waist in um i actually got that from the maternity section i just got it like two or three sizes smaller and it fits perfectly and i love it i ha literally the first time i bought it though i had to like re-get it because it was huge and i got it in my own size because I, I didn't realize it was maternity but i fell in love with it so that is actually massive because they're all woolly so i, I mean that's not gonna go i'm just okay some other things i want to take this bucket hat is so cute literally adore it um i got it for my birthday from my boyfriend um i think it's from plt yeah i literally love this like bog um bucket hat i love fluffy bucket hats i've got a white one as well but i think i might just take this one i don't know why but yeah it's fine i'm definitely taking some warm socks because it'll be cold my boyfriend got me these last christmas how cute are they and they've got like grip on the back um i think they're just dead cute and it'll keep my feet warm if i have cold legs i get really bad pain it hurts i'm gonna take a casual top this is like um a men's t-shirt and it's like um a t-shirt dress and it just says post lockdown on it i feel like it's dead cool it's boohoo man it's quite massive but i think it's dead cool i love the print on it um i feel like just wearing that with like some vans and a coat could be quite cute maybe some cycling shorts which i have to pack here a bit bobbly i need to get more pairs of these um this one i need to get one of them things you know where you get like them like, like bubbles out does that make sense i've not got no makeup like room for makeup and all that what's wrong with me <laughs> oh my god my hair looks well on today so i want to pack um this this is um a men's t-shirt from asos 16 pound it's like it's like a t-shirt dress so this is probably what i'm just gonna wear to lounge around in or wear to bed um <laughs> sexy <laughs> i think i'm gonna take this t-shirt as well this is asos it's just like two-tone print i got a few size bigger to be a dress but I feel like it definitely needs cycling shorts. But it's just a top to throw on, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to want to dress up every night, you know. I know myself. Then, you definitely need, like, an oversized jumper like this, whatever you go, because it gets cold. So, I'm going to be taking my Adidas one, which is green. I was debating whether to take the red one or not, but I think I'm definitely going to take the green one. I feel like it's a bit of me. It's an autumnal um yeah i'm definitely gonna take this and wrap up warm i'm not forgetting hand cream this is from home bargains it's so good and i'm gonna be taking like ips tablets and stuff like that just in case you're wondering i want this to be like realistic i've still not done my nails and i'm tired i have to do them though um oh i'm gonna take two bags with me so these are two i got for my birthday how cute <laughs> why did that just hit me in the face also i'm going to take these little scissors away with me i'm pretty sure i like, stole them from primary school but like who knows um <laughs> they just look like it but basically um i got these both for my birthday and i feel like they'll just match basically what i've got like on my white and black outfits and if it doesn't match i just won't have a bag that evening and i'll use owen's pockets 
but i really really love this it's like felt imagine it with this jumper this is a plt jumper by the way it's just like a massive oversized one just to wear around the house um i lost a stone at the start of the year so a lot of my clothes are just baggy to wear around the house once that i used to go out in. i mean this bag which um that orange and this what do you all think about that i think i might travel in oh my god <laughs> i think i might travel with this one though because it's just a bit bigger so i can store loads of things in that won't fit in my suitcase because i'm one of them are you one of them people that have to take up half of like your boyfriend's suitcase as well or are you normal but I love this. On the way there, by the way, I think I'm literally going to wear leggings and a plain white top with um, my woolly jacket over the top. Um, just to be completely comfortable. Um, because recently I've been getting quite car sick and I don't do well. And I don't do very well with um, being out the house at the minute. Um, skincare. I'll probably take minimal because I know me, I'll take face masks and stuff. And to be honest, what I'm planning to do is getting drunk and sitting in a hot tub. So am I really going to want a face mask? But I'm going to take my Liz Earl cleanser. Um, I feel like I'll just need this. Like, you know, even if I don't use it every day, at least if I use it twice while I'm there, I'll feel good about myself. So I'm definitely going to take that. Uh and i'm definitely going to take this vitamin e moisturizer to put on like every day because it's so good so i'll probably take these two and eye cream and that is probably it if i'm going to be honest like i'm not really going to be doing my skincare every day and i know i won't like if i was going on holiday abroad and i really wanted to look after my skin but all i want to do is sit in a hot tub do you know what i mean hair care which i'm going to take my Argan oil from Poundland spray. It smells so good. Let me just spray it. Let me just spray it. Oh, it just smells so, so good. And literally a pound. Can't go wrong. So let's pack him. And so I use these cheap Tresemme. Um what do you call them straighteners i literally got them from asda in my first year of uni and they've just done me well to be honest literally like 20 pound got it with my overdraft <laughs> and my mark hill waiver i feel like am i really gonna do anything other than these probably not do i even want to try no on this i'm there to have a good time so this is all I'm taking. I can't wait. I've asked for the like smoothing brush from Mark Hill, so I'm just take heads with me next time. I mean, it probably won't be as good as straightening, but I prefer to have my hair quite natural anyway. I thought we could talk about makeup I want to take. Um, I'm definitely going to take one. This is like all I use in my hair if I want the side plait. Um, I mean, my hair's wet, but I bought these last year and they were too light, but uh, that's what you get for dyeing your hair in lockdown, sis. Um, so I literally just put one in right at the bottom and it hurts. Like, can someone tell me how to make extensions and not hurt? Because they do. They're from Lula Bells. I have no idea what colour. Sorry. Bought them a while ago. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I'm going to take my flat lay. If you saw my what I got for my birthday, I'll link it down below. Flat um, makeup bag and then just like... You know so 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 i reckon we take huda beauty i'm feeling bougie like let's use this i've asked for a new one for christmas um i think i've got a new sponge i'm definitely going to take my new sponge mine's gone grotty uh i can't even show you i don't want to show you um I won't show you everything I'm taking because I don't want this video to be too long. New sponge and my pink sponge. And for concealer, I'll take this and the LA Girl one. Just, you know, I like to take two, apparently. Uh, high Adherence Primer. My Revolution powder like this. 
think that's all I'll probably take, to be honest, for powder. I might take the Maybelline Fit Me just in case. It's one of them, you know, just in case. Um, should I take a contouring stick? Why not? Revolution Contour a Foundation Stick in F13. Um... I'm going to take my Poundland and Collection Eyeliner because I know one of them's running out. I just can't remember which. Pencil. I don't know if to do my makeup tomorrow though on the way or just do it when I'm there. Maybe I shouldn't pack my makeup until tomorrow. I might leave that out to be honest because I feel like I'll definitely want to put maybe a bit on because I'm going to film a come drive with me tomorrow. So that'll be the video up after this. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. But let's make sure we pack our Polaroid camera and Prosecco. <laughs> um, I want my brush. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. A bit different. Pack with me, little McDonald's mukbang. And yeah, if you did, please like and subscribe. And I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. And the next video you'll see should be like a come drive with me. And then the one after that. I'm going to put all our lodge days into one because I didn't want to edit and stuff while I was there because it just defeats the whole purpose of having time away. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye. Hope you're enjoying. <laughs>